Well, it has been a long and emotional battle for a family on Long Island as they try to make their neighborhood safer for their daughter who has autism. And finally today, they are feeling the support from the town and their neighbors. Iowa News News reporter Stacey Sager has a story from Port Washington. The outreach has been amazing and makes us feel much more welcome. A tearful and Stevie Bovis explaining the happy outcome today here in Port Washington after an emotional battle for the safety of their four-year-old daughter, Stella. Stella lives with autism and her doctors and therapists urged her parents to put up a fence around their home after they moved in only four months ago. Busy Port Washington Boulevard, only feet away. She would run off or she would run in the street. She would run to Port Washington Boulevard. She is so fast. Their fence is about four feet tall and prohibited under the town zoning ordinance, but it is considered a reasonable accommodation under the Americans with Disabilities Act. Still, many residents here on Derby Road were more concerned about aesthetics. And pretty soon, the fighting was the ugly part. We'd have people driving by giving us negative looks, um, you know, and then we'd go to their car because they would be stopped inside our house and they would speed off. This is a situation that should have been handled with compassion and empathy for all that they're going through. But unfortunately, it wasn't. The Bovis family ultimately had to appear at a hearing before the Board of Zoning Appeals, which was costly and time consuming, but also a spectacle they wished they never had to endure. But today, far more signs of support going up. Literally, the town raising awareness with signs on the block and using this case as a teachable moment. The numbers on autism spectrum disorder are staggering and it is here to stay. So it's going to take an effort on, on everybody's part. The Bovises say they'll make the effort by painting the fence white. They tell us 16 neighbors signed a petition against it, but more than 600 others in the community have signed one in support.